happy, happy Tuesday. My name is Wendy Lee from creativelyyours.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. and super excited to be here with you today. I don't know what's going on with this crazy hair. I don't know. Anyway, so what are we going to do today? So today I am going to do a project with you that is a great go-to layout, right? So this is one of those things that is going to allow you to use over and over and over again, change your focal point, change your papers, change your colors. Um, but it's just a really good basic layout that you can use over and over and over again and won't take you long to create. So that's what we're going to talk about today is crafting a little bit quicker, right? Um, I've got a couple of things um, that I wanted to make sure that you're aware of. So Today is the very last day to join our Cultivated Creativity um, program and get this month's kit. So the December kit is featuring the Sweetest Cherries bundle, and you can see those projects right behind me. It is a five project kit that is delivered directly to you with um, really detailed um, PDF tutorial that you can download, save, print if you'd like. Um, it's going to just really give you some really nice cards, right? They're not too simple, but they're not crazy difficult. So um, it's something that's going to help you grow with your creativity, but it takes all the stress off of you because we've done all the design work for you. So fun, 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 right? So if you subscribe and get your processing, uh, your payment done today, then you will get the December kit. If you wait and do it tomorrow, then you will get the next kit, which will also be fantastic. And we'll talk about that in a moment. The other thing I wanted you to be aware of, well, there's so many things, but uh, you know, December is an exciting month as a demonstrator because we have a, a changing happen. So we're finishing up our current um, July through December, I'm going to always say that wrong, mini catalog, which I just call the holiday catalog still. Um, but we're finishing that up and there are so many great products that are leaving us. It makes me so sad. So get yours before they're gone. The last chance list still has some really great steals that you want to grab those as well. And then on the flip side of that, we have a new catalog starting January 5th. Um, which is always exciting as well. So I'm going to kind of show you a couple different things today in the project that we're using where we're going to coordinate, um, mix and match some products from both catalogs. And then we have celebration starting January 5th. So many exciting things. Um, and then right now I have my online holiday party going on. So anyone is in the U.S. is welcome to participate and um, there is a link on my website. I also have an email going out to my email list. So if you're not on my email list, you're missing out on all the things I have going on. You need to get on the email list. So definitely subscribe to the email list. I do send a, an exclusive tutorial bundle to my email subscribers every single month. And then sometimes they get uh, dibs on exclusive class offerings as well. So if you like to, those kind of things, definitely subscribe. Um, but my uh, annual holiday online party is going on and it's it's fun. So you sign up and uh, you get a host code assigned to you that you use to place your order. You'll get all the requirements listed in the email, but you get host rewards from me. You get some designer paper, a card class to go, uh, a stash, a stack of my cards from my stash, uh, just lots and lots of goodies um, as a thank you for participating. So check that out as well. All right. If you've got questions on anything as we go, let me know. And of course, I can come back to the video. Leave me comments after or you can send me a direct message. I'm I'm happy to answer. All right, let's switch over and start our crafty fun today. So it looks like that my speakers, yes, my headphones did not connect. So I'm going to take them out of my ears because I don't think there's any point in talking through those if they're not connected, right? Makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> so hopefully you guys can hear me all right. And we will get started. Okay, so I told you we're going to mix and match some products. So I'm featuring the sweetest cherries. So that is a, a gorgeous, I think, so fun. I love the big, bold sentiments um, and the coordinating punch. Love a coordinating punch, right? So this is the bundle that we are featuring in the December Cultivated Creativity Kit, right? That you don't want to miss. And you can do so many things more than cherries. Today, we're going to make some cherries. And then I've combined it with the brand new Share a Milkshake bundle that is going to be in the mini catalog. 
I will give you a heads up. This is also the bundle that we are going to be using for our January Cultivated Creativity Kit. So you are going to want these. So I'm going to mix and match these today. Let me show the adorable card we're making. So this is the stinking cute. I love it, love it, love it. Love these. So this is what we're going to make today. But I want to talk about this layout a little bit. So this is, to me, a layout that you're going to be able to use over and over and over. You know, we're going to do some stamping. We've talked about stamping and making our own designer paper. So we're going to do some stamping to make our own little cherry paper back there. And then I pulled in a couple different prints from the fabulous Gingham. Oh my gosh. If you're a Gingham fan, you are going to love this new country Gingham paper. So let me give you a sneak peek. It's very pastel. Um, when you look at it, but oh my gosh, does this card look passed out? I don't think so. But you could do some really fun things with this. Love the gingham prints. I'm a big fan of that. So you're going to see a lot of stuff using that gingham. And again, that is going to be in this new mini catalog here, the January through April 2023 catalog. If you don't have one of these and you need one, let me know. Send me a note. If you've spent uh, $50 or more with me in the last six months, I'm happy to send you one for free. Um, if you've not purchased from me before, you can make a quick purchase and I'll still send it to you for free. Or um, you can purchase a catalog for $5 and I will send it to you with a $5 coupon to redeem on your first order. All right. So here's what we're going to make. So what I want to talk about on this layout is I've got multiple strips going on in here, but you could easily make this a full piece of designer paper, or you could do designer papers in all different widths. The key is you've got something in the background and then you're getting a focal point and you could put anything in your focal point. You could do any shape. It doesn't even have to be cut out, but this is a great go-to layout that you can use for so many different occasions. All right, let's go ahead and get started and we'll do our stamping first. So I'm going to start with a thick basic white card base and I'm doing this as a uh, top fold. Hey, David, my neighbor's on. <laughs> hey, Jean. Hey, Susan. So glad you guys are here today. Oh, the sound got better when I took the earpods out. Nice. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad you guys gave me that feedback. I just, you know, I never know what it's going to do, but the earpods never connected. So, you know, there was no point in me leaving them in. So I'm glad that it improved when I took them out. I wonder if it was just causing... um another weird issue. I'm trying still to figure all this out. Okay. And Jean, you've got, oh, freezing morning. Oh, it's so cold there. Yeah, we're supposed to have crazy cold weather for us this weekend as well over the holiday. I hope you guys are excited about Christmas, have some good plans. So I'm just going to take this super cute baby cherry that is in the share a milkshake stamp set. How fun is that that there's a little cherry in there? I love that. And I'm just rotating the image as I stamp because I want this to look like I've literally cut it out of a piece of designer series paper, right? A pattern paper that's already done, um, but we're going to make our own. That's one great thing about the stamps, right? Is that we can stamp it however we want and make our own prints and patterns in our own colors. Maybe I didn't want this to be in sweet sorbet. Maybe, uh, maybe I wanted um, purple purple or a pink or, you know, you can do whatever you want to with it. That's what I love about it. All right. So I've got my row of cherries. Perfect. And then we are going to add some little leaves to our cherries. So I'm going to pull in my granny apple green and we will stamp our little leaves. So again, this cherry and this little leaf is from that share a milkshake. So cute. So I'm trying to, I'm going to rotate this as I go because, well, it's a mental thing. I need to see the orientation of how the leaf should go versus guessing where the leaf should go. Do you guys ever do that? Okay, I'm going to pretend the stem is up there. I'm going to throw in a leaf. Same thing here. I'm going to pretend my stem is up there and throw in a leaf. So I can visualize this better if I'm rotating it. I know that's a little crazy. But isn't this cute? It makes such a cute little print. Love it, love it, love it. All right. 
next. All right. So next I want to layer on some designer series paper. So again, you could do this in one piece, multiple pieces. Really, it's it's whatever makes your heart happy, you can do, right? So I have got three little pieces I'm going to do here. And I don't know if you noticed this or not, but I've got a piece of the designer paper, a second piece of the designer paper, and then I've got this little scallop border. So I use the hand pen dies to cut this little border here. And I'm going to layer that in between those prints. I think it just adds a nice little pop um, to the layers. So let's go ahead and build this. So I'm going to bring in my stamp and seal. Oh, that balmy blue on the back is so pretty as well. Love it, love it, love it. And then I just want a really baby scallop sticking out. So I don't want much of it showing. It just adds a nice, cute little look. I think it goes really well with the country feel of this designer series paper. All right. And then I can have as much or as little of this sticking out as I want to. I just want a narrow, narrow border there. And I stuck it right down to my table, didn't I? All right. So then, believe it or not, I am going to adhere this to my card front flat. I know it rarely happens, but I'm going to do it. And I know this is strange, but I'm going to do it upside down. I want to make sure, since this is a top fold card, I want to get as close to that fold without going past it as possible. And look at that. My adhesive is so sticky, it's sticking to my fingers. Let's see if I can pull this up. Maybe it might be too late. I might have pushed it down too much. I'm pulling this up because my paper shifted. This layer right here shifted on me. So I want to see if I can slide it back in and get it where I want. There we go. A little bit better. A little wider than I had it originally. This way, if I miscut anything and have a piece a little bit long, I can trim it easily here. I hate to trim along the fold line if I can avoid it. Of course, it can be done. It's not a huge deal, but I prefer to avoid it if I can. Perfect. Oh, you like the cherries? Yeah, it's so cute. And I think this plays together really, really nicely. It's just a fun, fun little way to do it. Okay, so then I'm going to pull in some basic white, and I've already die cut this with my favorite dies, the Stylish Shapes dies, and I'm using the largest circle. I don't believe these are orderable just yet. Last time I looked, they weren't. I know Jean knows. Jean, you can tell us if they are. Correct me, please. But um, last I looked, they were not available just yet. I think they're going to be back in stock in January. They're just so popular. And if you don't have them, they should be on your list. All right, we're going to pull in the share of milkshake dies. And I'm going to use this little grid right there. So I've already die cut that. And I wanted to tell you, I did put an adhesive sheet on the back. If you guys need me to show that sometime, let me know. I've shown it in other videos. And I could do a, just a little instructional video on using adhesive sheets as well. I'll add that to my list of things just so you guys can always look back at that. So I've die cut it with a adhesive sheet on it. So I'm just going to use my take your pick. And I'm going to try to get that, that little uh, adhesive backing. Now watch, because I'm on video, I won't be able to get it. There we go. There we go. And so this way, I can just literally peel off that backing paper and stick this down. And I don't have to worry about getting glue everywhere. So the other trick you could do, if, if you don't have adhesive sheets or you don't like to use them, you could easily put this down on your uh, silicone craft sheet and take a sponge dauber, put a little liquid glue on it and daub it on the back. You just have to make sure that this doesn't move so that you don't get glue on the other side. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, so I'm going to adhere this down with some liquid glue. So I'm gonna keep this flat because my, my height is gonna get pretty tall as I work here. Yeah, those cherries. I just love those cherries. All right, so I'm going to slide this. Uh, let's go right here. There's no right or wrong to it and where you place it. But this, you know, whether this background is one piece, multiple pieces like I have it, or something in between, adding a layer as a focal point is super easy, right? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's work on our cherries next. I've got some scrap paper, a sweet sorbet, and I'm going to bring in my sweet sorbet and my real red ink pads. 
So first thing I want to do, I'm going to ink up the image in Sweet Sorbet. Okay, and I just re-inked this pad yesterday because it was looking a little light. So it might be a little crazy today. This might not work as well as it did yesterday when I played with it. So then I'm taking a sponge dauber and picking up some real red ink and I am gonna daub some real red ink just on this cherry to give it a little bit of real red in the color. All right, and then let's just stamp this right down. Now, if you're having trouble getting good images with this particular stamp set, you can put a foam pad underneath. We'll do that for the next one and see if we see a difference in the two images. There it went. I knew I had one. So now you could kind of see I've got some dark and light in this little cherry, which I think is fun, adding that multicolor dimension to it. All right, so I'm gonna repeat this. I'm gonna ink it up in the sorbet, which is super juicy today, and add some of my real red ink. Give it that two-tone cherry look. All right, and we will stamp that down. Nice, 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 nice. I didn't get as much red on that one, I don't think. But I think it's still really, really nice. Hey, Dawn, so glad you're here today. Oh, good, yeah, I'm glad that you like this. Yeah, it's, it's so cute. And you can change your sentiments and use it for so many different things. All right, we'll move that out of our way so we don't put our arms in it. And then let's grab that lovely cherry punch. So you guys know to unlock our punches, you slide that lock and it's gonna release. This is where you squeeze. This is where you put the paper in. Now I like to use these upside down so I can see where I'm cutting, right? So I can line up my image, give it a light squeeze when I'm happy with my placement so it doesn't move on me. And then I can squeeze it. Now, if you've got arthritis in your hands or your hands, you just have trouble squeezing. The nice thing about these punches is that you can lay them flat and you can slide your paper in and you can literally lean on the punch versus having to squeeze it. So if I'm having one of those days where my hands are bothering me a little bit, because some days my arthritis does not like what I'm doing, um, I can lay that flat on the table. So that's one of the great things about these updated versions of the punch. And then when you're done, you can just close it and lock it back in place. We're not done. We're going to use it a few more times on a couple more elements. So I'm going to leave that out. But we've got our cherries. Next, let's see. Why don't we stamp a couple of stems? So I'm going to pull my cherries over to the side. Let's bring this little foam pad back in and my memento pad and my stem. So I want to go ahead and stamp and punch. You could do this in multiple colors, but since I chose to use black for my sentiment, I decided I'd do my stems in black as well. So I'm just gonna rotate this just to make this easy. That way I don't punch into each other as I'm going here. And we'll just pop that excess off because we know that it's gonna be in our way when we put it in the punch. I'm going to just slide this in the punch. And again, I can line this up where I want it and just give it a little squeeze. And I've got my stem right there. Well, there we go. And then we've got the one on the other side. So just a little scrap of paper you just need enough to hold on to. Perfect. All right. Next, we need some little leaves. Now, on my original sample, I just punched out a couple of leaves, but I think I want to stamp them today. So let's go ahead and slide this in to our punch, and we'll punch out a couple little leaves. There's one, and there's two, and then let's go ahead and add a little bit of a, a stem in there, like some, some veining to the leaf. There's a great stamp. And let's grab that scrap paper again, just in case I get a little crazy. So I'm going to use this detailed stamp. This is in the um, Sweet Cherries Bundle. And we'll just add a little bit right into that leaf there. Cute. Just adds a little more depth to it. So you could do it with or without. I just thought I'd change it up today, do something a little different than what my original was. 
All right, so we've got our two leaves. So let's go ahead and assemble this little cherry and get that on our card front. So I've got my two cherries and my stems. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of liquid glue to the bottom of our stems here. So I'm just gonna put a little dot I need to move up. You guys can't see me. I just realized I'm down too low. Do you guys do that when you craft, pull things towards your chest? I didn't realize I did it so much until I started trying to do videos. But yeah, you pull it. I always pull it towards me. So I'm just going to let that sit for just a moment. So while we're doing that, my leaves are going to layer like that. So cute. I do like that little stamped detail in there. I think that's kind of nice. So I'm going to put both cherries popped up. So let me grab my dimensionals. So this first one, I'm going to put two dimensionals on just across. I'm going in this card. And I'm going to do something like that. Okay. And then on this one, I want to overlap it. So I don't want to put a dimensional up in that corner because that's where my overlap is going to be. So I'm going to keep them over to this side. All right. And then I'm going to turn it so that those stems kind of come together. Cute, 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 cute. Love that. All right, so my next one for my leaf, I'm gonna pop that up with a dimensional as well. And place that so it looks like it's coming just right outside of there. Now this one, I wanna tuck underneath. So I may have to lift that dimension. I think I can push it underneath. I don't think I pushed that down hard, so I think I can do that. I could have put this one down first, but I didn't. This is easier to see placement wise. So I can always lift that just a bit if need be. I actually want it above that lattice. There we go. All right, let's give those a good push and get those down in place. Yeah, I like, I like that extra detail that that stamping gives on that leaf. You guys have to tell me which one you like better. Cute, cute, cute. All right, next, let's get our bow tied. So this is one of our new ribbons that's going to be in the mini catalog and it comes in a combination. Um, so this is a real red and then this is a burlap. I'm gonna use the burlap. So I'll have these listed and in with the supply list. I can't do links because they're not available yet, but I can give you item numbers and descriptions. So I will have that in the list. So I just did my two loops and I'm just gonna hold the knot and pull the tails and then we tighten that bow until I'm happy with the bow. Now, I think maybe I'm gonna make my loops a little bit bigger and get that nice and tight. Cute, right? So these products, some of these products are available now, but some of these products won't be available until January 5th with the new mini catalog. So the, um, the cute ribbon, the designer paper we're using here, um, and then the sentiments we're gonna use are all coming from the new products in the mini catalog. So if you can't wait till January 5th to get your hands on those, I invite you to join my Diamond Demonstrator team. Why the burlap and not the real red? Oh, Felicia, so so glad, thank you for coming. Um, you know, it's just what I wanted to pull in. Do you think, would you guys like to see it with the real red instead? I can switch it out. I think it would be very pretty with the real red as well. Because we pulled the red in on the cherries. And I think that the real red goes really nicely with the sweet sorbet. So I'll give you a moment. If you guys want me to switch it to real red, we will. I just was pulling in um, that burlap because I thought it was nice. Yeah, you like the leaf detail? Yeah, Jean, I think so as well. Hey, Anne Marie. Too funny. We were chatting just a little bit ago, weren't we? Love it, love it, love it. So I don't know how much delay there is. I'll let I'll let it sit for just a minute. So while this while while I'm waiting for you guys to tell me if you want me to switch that ribbon or leave it, I will um, go ahead and work on the sentiment. Why not, right? All right. So I have already die cut my sentiment. So I'm using these new 
Fancy Labels dies. Something Fancy dies is the proper name. Love these. Love, love, love these. And I used it to cut out that little label right there. Um, these have some really fun shapes in them. I think these are going to be very, very handy. And I have a feeling I'm going to be using them quite a bit. Love having all the different uh, shapes and different sizes that you can layer. I think this is going to replace the um, Hippo and Friends for me, right? Not quite as big of images. So yeah, Felicia, you do want to see, you want to see both? So, okay. So Jean, do you mean at this, both of them on the same card? So I can switch and do the new one. I can do this one with the red since we've got that there. Or if you're trying to say to put both ribbons on, is that what you're telling me? Hmm, I wonder if that would be too chunky. Maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna hold until I hear more from you. Someone might be twisting my arm to buy those dyes. <laughs> they're good dyes. I'm telling you, they're good dyes. You're going to want them. I'm going to keep using them until you do, right? <laughs> you guys know my evil plan. All right, so let me bring in the Celebrate. So this is from that, that Share Milkshake set, which super sweet. And I love that these coordinate. Stampin' Up! does such a great job with that. I think I'm going to remove that white paper so I can see this a little bit easier. It is difficult to see on camera. So we're going to stamp that Celebrate right there. So cute. Love it, love it, love it. Let's see. No, the red alone. Okay. Not both at the same time. Thank you guys for clarifying. I will put my burlap ribbon aside and we will switch. Perfect. Isn't it funny how we think that we know that we're being super clear and then because of the delay, I think it's really because of the delay, um, it's harder to understand what people are telling me. So, all right, my two loops. Now this ribbon is a little easier to tie because it's not as chunky, at least it is for me to tie. It's a little um, more of a satin finish to it than the burlap, which makes sense. You hear burlap and you would think that it would be a little more burlapy, right? <laughs> I know, I'm silly. So we'll put that off. So now we've got our nice real red ribbon. All right, I can't wait. So this is this will be exciting because normally I put the ribbon on the back of my label and then I put my label down. Because the burlap was so chunky with that knot, I mean, let's see if we can show this to you. Can you guys see the difference in the height of the burlap versus the height of the ribbon? So the uh, red ribbon is much narrower here where the burlap is a wider chunky. So I really had to be careful when I popped this label up. So I actually pulled in and you're gonna see on the supply list foam adhesive strips because they're just a tidge bit taller than dimensionals to, to make it work with this burlap ribbon. Now I'm not gonna use those since we went to the red ribbon. I'm gonna slide the red ribbon actually in after I put my sentiment on because I should be able to without any issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some dimensionals on the back of this. And we will put our lovely sentiment down. So cute. Oh, looks like I got a little crazy with my dimensional. Let me clip that edge off. All right, so we're going to Slide that right there. So strategic, right? All right. So let's go ahead and grab, I call these boogers, I know it's gross. These are mini glue dots. Let's go ahead and grab a couple of them. I don't like to touch them. They remind me of my kids when they were little and the snot that was on their nose that you could never get off when they were not well. I know that's terrible. All right. And I'm just going to slide this ribbon right underneath. Kind of make it do what we want it to do. And so it's not near the height that we had on the burlap. So I didn't need the foam strips to do that. So cute though, right? And I love how the ribbon pulls out a little more brightness and depth when you mix it with that sweet sorbet. All right, so let's add a few little gems. So I'm pulling out some gems called opaque adhesive backed gems. And these are from, again, the mini catalog. So I am mixing and matching my goodies because I can. My perk as a demonstrator is I got to order things early. 
Perfect. So again, if you can't wait, you're welcome to join our team. I can help you get set up and started. So just sprinkle on a couple of these. Granted, these products will be available to everyone starting January 5th, so you can also order them then. But you don't want to miss out on the other goodies before they're gone. All right, so we've got some cute little gems. Now let's go ahead and bring our design to the end side. So I like to do this. This is pretty much a staple item for me to do. So I'm going to bring in just a little half inch strip of this gingham and place that on the inside. There's a little stamp and seal, maybe. It's not running. There we go. And I'm not going to put it all the way to the bottom. I think I'm going to leave, um, it looks like I'm trying to put my hair in there. I'm going to leave just a small strip of white at the bottom because I think that's kind of cute. Oh, I guess I could have showed you. Here's what I did. So got my little, you're the cherry on top. Isn't that sweet? So that's from that chair milkshake stamp set. And then we'll add that little cherry on the inside. So sometimes we put layers in. I kept this super simple. Um, still bringing the design to the inside because I think that's important, but keeping this faster and easier for you to duplicate, right? That's the whole point of today's project is, is taking a layout that you can use over and over and over again, just by changing out your colors and products, stamps that you're using, papers that you're using um, to make it what you need it to be, right? You can make a Christmas card if you're still working on holiday projects. Make a guy card, a Valentine, so many choices. All right, let's add that super cute cherry to the inside. Oh, you have the same products on your desk, Anne Marie, right now? Oh, too funny. We must have been thinking alike today. I'm gonna add this little cherry on the inside. And because if I don't close my ink pads as I go, I end up with arms with lovely colors on them. Oh, good, you're liking the card, Felicia. I'm so glad. Yeah, I think it's super sweet as well. There's something about you know, the little gingham mixed with the cherries, but I just think it's so sweet. You like both ribbons, Dawn. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, you like, and Jean, you like the red, sorry, I'm reading comments, that's terrible. I get sidetracked when I read the comments, but look like Jean likes the burlap better. Some of you like the red better. So cute though to bring that, isn't that, doesn't that just coordinate so nicely? And then you would, you would totally decorate the envelope. So I could see stamping the envelope flap with these cherries. That would be fun. If you were in more of a hurry, you could take up any of these little ginghams because there's several others in red, right? Let me pull this back. So there's this cute, oh, I use that one. Ah, use that one, okay? So let's see, what other reds are in here? Granted, you could totally change the colors, but here's another red. So here's like a smaller version of that print. That would be cute on the envelope flap as well. So you can mix and match this however you want to. They coordinate so nicely together. You know, I could have switched my green to this mint. How fun would that have been? And then I could have tied it together with some mint. That would have been fun as well. So cute. So yeah, I like, I like both. I will say I think I like the stamp detail leaf a little bit better than the plain leaf. Um, and I, I like both the burlap and the red. I think you guys, I just went here because I felt like it gave um, just a little different contrast to it, a little more texture, but you know, I like the satin edge as well. So, you know, they're both, they're both really good. Yeah, good, Jean. I'm so glad that you like the basic design elements. Yeah, I think this really is something that you could take and do a lot with. It has a lot of interest if you want it to, or you could keep it super, super simple, but it's just a layout that you could use over and over. It makes your life a little bit easier to be able to use something over and over. I've had so many people tell me that, um, you know, they struggle. They struggle with that. And the struggle is real of what design are you going to do for your card? And then once you get there, you're like, oh, then what colors am I going to use? And what products do I want to use? And and sometimes it takes a little longer than we want it to take, and, and we just need it to be a little faster. So if you've got a handful of layouts that you love and that you can use over and over and over, you'd be surprised at how different they actually look 
once you start playing with different products with them. So I hope that this was helpful and inspired you guys to give this this layout a try. Um, I'd love to see what you're you're doing with it. I know I know you can't post on YouTube, but you can post on my Facebook uh, in my Facebook group, Creatively Your Studio. I'd love to see you guys share some pictures over there if you'd like to um, using this layout, right? And use hashtag craft with Wendy. Why not? Yay. All right. So I hope you'll join us for our cultivated creativity. Yeah, Felicia, I think so. The burlap is a little more earthy or rustic. I think so as well. Just kind of pulls in that kind of a picnic look going on here, maybe. Um, so yeah, last day to sign up for cultivated creativity and get our super sweet sweetest cherries kit and of course starting tomorrow when you sign up or if you've already signed up stay so that you get the next kit as well because we're going to use the share a milkshake and I'm not sharing any sneak peeks yet I'm in design now on that and should have those ready any moment so all right thank you all for joining me if you have questions on anything please leave me a comment if I miss answering any of your questions, please let me know and I will go back and answer those. Um, so thank you for joining me today and everyone have a wonderful Christmas. For those of you that celebrate Christmas, if you celebrate something else, I hope that's wonderful for you as well. I think we've got Hanukkah going on right now. Um, although I may be totally wrong, it may be over. You know, I live in my bubble, I think, and I only know my own holidays. So yes, so have a wonderful, wonderful week and um, enjoy time together with family and friends or quiet time to yourself, however you choose to celebrate the holiday. So we are going to steal away at a cabin this weekend in the mountains. And i um, not sure this was a good decision because we are supposed to have our coldest weather we've had in a very, 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 very long time here in Pufftown, North Carolina. And it's going to be even colder where we're going. So it will be crazy, but we'll all be together and it will be fun. And I get to go snuggle in with my cute, cute six-year-old granddaughter, Arlie. I don't get to see Bonnie, baby Bonnie. She's, uh, what, is she 18 months now? Oh my gosh, she's growing too fast. Uh, but I won't get to see her for Christmas, but I hopefully we'll see her shortly. All right, great. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, thank you again for joining me. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you love the products or the videos that I'm sharing, the projects that I'm sharing, definitely share those with your crafty friends and uh, help me get my name out there. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you all so, so much. And I will see you next Tuesday. And yes, Jean, club members, I will see you tonight for our weekly Facebook Live in our Forget Me Not group. Bye for now.